Hey guys, it's your boy we back with more mods to write content and we have the March update sneak peek number one as well as the developer's note for the ninth year anniversary. We will get back, uh, we will get to that in a bit. So we have the first of all the sneak peek number four, greeting agents, the superhero who can channel the power of her ancestors while taking out enemies with exceptional martial arts skills has risen to find her true self. Maya's return and we know who Maya is. We're talking about Maya Lopez, aka Echo. So Echo update, well, is finally happening. <laughs> we were really thinking uh, Kingpin or something might get uh, updated. Explore the fresh appearance and enhanced abilities of the superhero. Superhero, so yeah. That's how it is. Who has transcended her past as an assassin inspired by Marvel Studios Echo. We will announce more information through the patch details later. Let's take a look at what we have for this one and we'll get back to the developer's note. I'm gonna raise the volume. Let's see, I'm not sure if the volume is gonna be good. So nothing fancy with the sneak peek, very simple, very straight, which I like. And honestly, there's not, not like not much of excitement in the sneak peek anyways. So yeah, tier four echo has been confirmed as a, I suppose a mid month patch for the update that we just got. And I'm not going to bother looking for the tier four icon. It should be somewhere around here, but she will be getting the tier four as all the characters usually get them. So uh, tier four echo, there is no sign of Kingpin. There is no sign of anyone else. So I don't know if to be excited, to be sad or what about this thing. Echo Show came a co quite quite some time back actually. And they, they skipped the update and now they are doing it as a filler, which I don't know. Like she, Echo, I believe with the new uniform was pretty good in PvP, uh, especially Alliance Conquest, I suppose. Maybe with this uniform, she might be able to get into Otherworld Battle meta. That's possible. But the meta is getting very, very dense and dense now. And too many characters have been coming with some crazy, crazy damage output say you know just like the cersei situation just like the uh racial summer situation with that and obviously the new characters and metas like silver surfer and others like that so i don't know maybe it might make a big difference maybe it might not but not exactly excited about this thing it doesn't give you any chills honestly about the mid month and i'm not I'm not really excited anyways, uh, just to, to be honest, but Echo Tier 4 it is. Hey, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's move on to the bigger picture. Let's move on to the bigger picture. And that is this ninth anniversary development team notice, uh, team letter. We have the dev note right now let's see of appreciation okay obviously let's go we are the bosses here now greeting agent this is uh, marvel future fight development team we would like to greet our agents to share the joy of the nine year anniversary of marvel future fight we would like to express our deepest gratitude to the agents who have been playing Marvel Future Fight for such a long time and we will continue to work hard uh, to provide the best gaming experience we can well it has been a quite a good quite an amazing journey actually nine years of Marvel Future Fight. Our team is constantly thinking about ways to deliver new uh, vitality and fun to agents through game improvements as well as the development of various new content. In this new ninth year anniversary letter of appreciation, we will evalu evaluate how we met our goals uh, stated in the previous letter have been carried out as well introduce the new changes that will come in the future. Looking back on the past year, new PvP content growth system. So in hopes of engaging in battle with so, uh, many superheroes, we have added a new PvP content, Otherworld Battle. In addition, through the new growth system, Axe of Swords agents uh, can now all their superheroes more powerful. Anyways, like I think Otherworld Battle was okay because it gives you extra rewards. But now uh, it feels like, you know, the meta is getting very dense and every single update because of the more and more tier fours coming into the category the value of tier three characters kindly have gone down honestly like mostly the debuff characters who are tier three are the main useful uh, apart from the existing ones and it has become very hard for them to compete so that's something new hero release agents which uh, hero did you like the most among spot we had Con the conqueror omega red men think sylvie kahori Hawk, uh, exodus hope summers and then we have middle and prior quasar icon and black swan so out of all these like they have been good i would say in their 
particular categories but i was totally totally go with middle in prior i would totally go go with uh, black swan as obviously the top contenders being the native characters obviously and kang conqueror being the native tier 3 i was a bit disappointed in terms of the damage output in terms of the usability of the character being a native tier 3 so i would say black swan middle in prior and hope summers i think these three will be the main uh, highlight of the whole new characters category that we got since last year and like again and these characters even we just got recently so all the others have been either alliance conquest little bit of uses and obviously uh we had uh, the uh, the other content so i don't know they have not made a huge impact hope summers is amazing help maiden prior and black swan great uh we got some extra characters obviously for as a uniforms for quasar not the uniform for quasar the new quasar i don't know why they did him like he's just alliance conquest and i don't know <laughs> they're not happy uh, with with the exact value that all of them combined give you right now but it's okay we got new characters at least so that's how it is we will uh even more superheroes and super villains will be released after the ninth anniversary so well, we won't get in uh, before that new world boss and upgrade support system we got kang the conqueror as well as world boss legend plus please change the name <laughs> black swan which can already be challenged with the tier 4 heroes only we also have added tier 4 upgrade support mission progress missions blah 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 moreover world boss legend plus difficulty we continue to be added so we will be getting more world boss legend plus like black swans only tier 4 category uh soon as well more uh an addition event reward improvements are being prepared to support our agency hero upgrade thank you so much we need more rewards absolutely new content and development we are developing three new pieces of content to provide our agents with refreshing fun the first one is a new form of narrative content okay so if you talk about narrative epic quest could come into narrative content we could we might get a new story maybe a different revamp to story mode that's possible but we'll see in this content the characteristics of the heroes will stand out as much as possible and agents will be able, uh, able to enjoy the maximum fun from exploring a story rather than simple repetitive play okay is it going to be a little bit like open world between uh, like i would love sort of like a you know navigational uh, game mode where you can literally move with your character from literally like a, like a joystick you know just like we do in the open world games so if that happens i'm totally down for it okay this is exciting okay i won't lie they will uh, this will allow agents to enjoy a very difficult different experience compared to they or they have done in legendary battle and epic quest okay well that's good because in legendary battle and epic quest i think that's what they mean we have to follow the cat, uh, follow the story obviously with the narration but we cannot move our character we only do uh join when the battle begins we can only join the characters when the battle begins and we can only play manually then if they can make it the open world game mode inside mall future fight i will be totally down for it and it will be very very fun honestly totally second we are preparing new collectible growth content okay this content will be interest to any marvel comic fan <laughs> okay that's good the focus on the the focus on the fun of collecting and the growth elements will be designed to be com uh, uncomplicated agents can receive various benefits by using what they collect so please look forward to it okay that's nice so another comic card <laughs> i don't know this time we have comic books lastly we have prepared a new multiplayer content this content will be developer uh, developed with the concept of blocking waves of enemies together Huh. Okay, just like maybe Alliance Conquest, but in like multiple. Let's see. Agents will be able to enjoy the fun of cooperating and using their favorite heroes uh, that they have grown. Each individual's roles will also become more important in this content. So, okay, sort of like Alliance Conquest. Uh, sorry, Alliance Battle, but with three players in it, like in, in a co-op. And we'll have because Alliance Battle, we actually have the beast. Then we have the waves of enemies that actually comes and goes that you can kill. So. It will be fun. Uh, honestly, the most fun looks like the Marvel comic fan definitely looks nice, but it seems like they will give sort of like a comic book sort of buffs to how many actually you have collected. This narrative co narrative content is the one that actually I'm more keen about, keen to see because it feels like an open world inside Marvel Future Fight, which will be insanely amazing, honestly. So we'll see. 
PEP content to be improved. We have listened to our opinions that our agents have continued to send in and the love and trust in PEP content. First of all, we apologize for delay for providing guidance as we carefully discuss how to proceed since adjusting PEP content has uh, hastily without su sufficient preparation may have led to disappointment. Oh my God. We will now explain the direction of future improvement. Tamil battle. Thank you. To reduce attacker's weaknesses, adjustment to will made to striker cooldown times. Thank you so much. Please. <laughs> okay, we don't even have the cooldown up when we go fight. The penalty of having a skill cooldown immediately after tracking a hero was probably only applied to attackers. Yep. However, it will be applied equally to attackers and defenders after the May update. Okay. The penalty of having a skill cooldown immediately. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, it does help out. In addition, we are considering adjusting various penalties for attackers through sufficient discussion. Thank you so much. Please do that. We are also planning to apply convenience features such as specifying the number of auto repeats. Uh, I don't know, maybe useful, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Like if you're auto playing, you will probably just auto play the whole thing, you know. So I don't think it's going to matter if they give you an option to auto play five of them. It kind of doesn't make sense. We hope you enjoy using these features. We'll see. Uh, I'm excited about the adjustment of skill cooldown. That's the main issue because when you start the talent battle, none of your skills are available. So that is a bummer. Even if you switch, the cooldown is still the same. So I don't, I don't like it. Other battle, the debuffed characters system will be enhanced to allow more diverse heroes to be used than before. Well, yeah, the debuffed characters, as I said, mostly all of them like Strife, Wasp was there before. So they actually have much more usefulness compared to others, even if they suck, actually. So that's how it is. Okay. Through this, we will provide agents with the fun of experience, very heroes and forming more diverse teams. Alliance Conquest. To reduce the fatigue of <laughs> Alliance Conquest, we're considering adjusting both the duration and battle of time. Okay, that's a good thing. Right now, I think it's what, six hours a day? Um, uh, come on. It's an, even if you play one phase total, it's freaking two hours. In addition, we are also considering other various changes such as simplification of the region conquest method. However, since Alliance Conquest has many elements that need to be approached carefully, it is expected that it will take quite a while for these changes to be effective. It's okay, just do time battle first. PvP content uh, state stat adjustment. Our team con uh, concluded that in order to wider variety of heroes to be active in PvP than currently, the impact of additional peers damage should be reduced. We have been contemplating this for a long time. The additional peers damage stat not only plays a key role when challenging PvE bosses, but also drives team composition with strong attacks as the core in PvP, making the performance of the certain heroes stand out. Accordingly, we are preparing improvements to allow agents to use more diverse selection of heroes in PvP battles by adjusting the applied additional peers damage stat ratio in PvP content. We're also considering adjusting the balance of other stats other than peers damage by changing their ratio in PvP. Adjusting the balance in the game is something that needs to be done very carefully. And we think it is more important to elicit understanding from agents that uh, than everything else. Our team will keep in mind and approach balance adjustment. So probably characters like, you know, uh, with native peers as well. And obviously with the new uh, theme system, say Ghost Rider. If you have a max team for Ghost Rider for the Midnight Suns, you will have 35% additional peers damage. And the max you can get from cards is 25. So that character is going to have 10% extra peers. Obviously, he's going to do more damage compared to a, a, a Ghost Rider with basically no theme bonus. And characters also having native peers, just like Adam, I think, I'm not sure if Adam has that. Uh, like Null and uh, like I think Black Swan also has that additional peers. So they will do less damage compared to what they, they were doing right now, I suppose. It might balance out. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to make meta stand out, honestly. Because even if you rem remove the additional peers damage, a 25% peers ghost rider is still going to be much better than some i don't know I, I don't know most of the most of the other heroes in his kind of category he can still one shot he still has the mortality artifact and he can still do do fine so maybe they might it might change maybe not we will we will take we will see about that may update hero the next may update will target heroes from the heroes update poll event held last december future updates will also be based on the result of the hero update voting event so please tune okay 
May update celebration live stream and cure uh, to celebrate the May update and the live uh, 9th anniversary of Marvel Future Fight. We will be hosting a live stream in by inviting Marvel representatives. Okay, visit the link below. Any questions? You can go to the survey if you want to. We will collect answers. Uh, so they will probably have the Q&A right here and they'll probably answer the questions from the Q&A. We will, we will always prepare various updates and events so that the agents can enjoy their journey better with the various season of Marvel Universe. Once again, thank you for thank you very much for enjoying Marvel Future Fight, the nine year anniversary red carpet, red carpet, uh, carpet, carpet festival event starts on July, uh, July 429. Okay, uh, my reading skills have gone down. We ask our agents to participate in the 9th anniversary festival so it can be even more meaningful event. Lastly, we would uh, uh, like to send a special reward to our agents with our gratitude. Gratitude, please re uh, receive the reward through the separate pop-up screen that will be displayed when accessing the game. Please continue to mention the Marvel Future Fight and show love and support. We have schedule. You can go there. You can get the Odin's Plasma Chest, Dimension Chest, 4 Star Artifact and new Vibranium Chest. Yeah, more crystals please <laughs> okay thank you okay woo. so that was quite a bit and looking forward to the things like they do like they, they, they promise of the things that they will be obviously working on in the future and they kind of do actually also work on some some things turn out to be amazing some things turn out to be horrible and something turn out to be okay okay i can make do of it in the game it just makes the game more fun i think the the most they can do or what they can do now is just reduce the gameplay time of the game like Marvel Future Fight design was designed originally to be played 24 hours with insane amount of content that you have to actually spend a lot of time on now it has been reduced uh, quite a bit but since some uh, some of the game modes like story mode like dimension drift they require you to auto play or manually play those game mode for their particular duration of time story mode takes quite a bit of time especially the first one which has like 20 stages i suppose and the other one which actually is dimension drift you have to play it for 30 minutes in order to get the full of it plus you can do three dimension drifts every single day i'm not saying everybody has to do uh, an hour and 30 minutes of gameplay just for dimension rift but it's just that you're stuck on that time if you want to make them take the most out of it you cannot just clear ticket it okay the way we used to do it with the old dimension rift and that was honestly pretty good so honestly like looking forward to whatever changes they do i hope this just makes uh, the game more fun more native tier 3s will be coming and will be going to tier 4 very very soon and i'm really waiting for the war machine tier 4 which i don't know who the hell actually asked for it it was in the ranking so anyways do let me know what you think about the video do let me know what you think about this developers note for ninth anniversary events will start soon and hopefully they will announce the uh, details for the bingo and everything in a week or two from now as well looking forward to echo not excited but let's see what she brings to the table anyways uh, do let me know what you think about all of that give this video a like subscribe to the channel already if you have not and as always if you do enjoy the content I hope to see you.